Good afternoon. Welcome to Get High and Preach. I'm your host, Saul Kohat. Nah, my name's Paul Cohen. Anyway, um, coming to you about the Valley of the Dry Bones. And uh, why it just occurred to me that it's the scripture that describes the church today. Um, absolutely, we are dry bones. We're not prepared for battle, are you? Are you ready to go down? Are you ready to throw down with demonic creatures that will suddenly appear on our planet? Are you? Because they're not suddenly appearing nothing. They're here. They're here. And they're becoming so numerous that we can see them on television now. I'm not talking about special effects. I'm not talking about someone's idea ideology of what a demonic creature looks like but these are on film these are things that no longer can be denied in our skies um, other planets Jupiter what was it Saturn they believe they have a picture of a city on Saturn or Jupiter please church wake up we are the bones laying in that valley. We are the ones who are responsible for this generation of people. There are billions going to hell. Someone you know, someone very close to you, your own family, is going to end up in the lake of fire and sulfur. I am extraordinarily confused concerned condemned yes because uh, I don't think that I, any one of us including me myself included are worthy to meet the Lord if he returned right now in that air I'm saying is wake up and smell the bones ask the Lord to rebuild you because this army is dead we are dead we are selfish we are greedy we are filthy we got to stuff a cigarette in our mouth stack and we step out of church we do things that people look at us like that and say how could they be a Christian I used to smoke I know that that is the first thing that the Elohim to vote the first thing that Hashem said, get rid of. I know that's because he did it. It took three days worth of hell. I'm not exaggerating, sweating, shaking. Couldn't drink coffee because I wanted a cigarette with it. So I had to go through that detox as well. It was a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. Quitting smoking was the hardest thing that I ever did. But when Yah is standing there behind you with his hands on your shoulders, you're going to get through it. And then on the other side, you're going to have nightmares like I do. Because my nightmares are I'll be smoking in my dream. And then I'll suddenly remember that I have to quit again. You know, um, I'm sure that there are probably, if the other dimensions exist the way that I believe they exist, because I don't know, but if they do, then there's a dimension where I smoke, probably two packs a day. We're not just talking about smoking, because I'm going to tell you the bottom line. You ain't going to like it, but here's the truth. The truth is that if you ran a stop sign, then you broke every commandment there is. If you've ever just sort of slowly went, like that car right there just went slowly through a stop sign. If you've ever taken, and this is as petty as I can get. If you have ever taken an extra packet of sweetener from McDonald's or an extra straw, okay, that you did not use technically it's theft and that's the way that God looks at it he does not distinguish between our sins because then that would not be an impartial judge okay so all sin 
will draw you into the fire in the center of the earth. That is exactly where it's described in the scriptures. The bowels of the earth. All right, I've been off for too long. But uh, this has been Get High and Preach. Look, quite frankly, I'm broke. Um, poor as you can get. But uh, definitely would love to have some donations. Anyway, God bless you.